All right, we are back for the third masterpiece of season seven. <laughs> so. <laughs> Investing in videos is interesting because while I can guarantee you it will grow your business and grow your career, it's very hard to quantify because this is not what happens. People don't call you and say, hey, just saw season three, episode two of Whitman Wisdom and now I really wanna work with you. Or I saw that commercial you made in the bathtub or I saw that lottery video or I saw the musical. People just don't say that, right? It becomes this collection of work that you just have existing out there and it's a brand awareness strategy. The only thing you can do to measure its success is how rapidly your business is growing. And so in doing so, I'm gonna give you a little insight into the last four years of the Whitman team, which is the beginning of our inception until now. I'm gonna tell you what our goals were, what we actually did, and how everything worked out, and what I accredit it to. So, without further ado, let's start with 2017. I actually began my real estate career in 2006. I was a rental agent for a long time, and through a beautiful small world circumstance, I ended up meeting Phil and David, who are the co-founders of Triple Mint, and we started that company technically in 2011. I joined the crusade in 2013, and there was just a few of us then. Now there's a few hundred of us. It's been the craziest ride. And it was at the end of 2016 that an idea planted in my head. I had no business, I had no clients, that I was like, I am going to start a team and Josh, and then shortly after that, Ashley, and then shortly after that, Myrna, became the original inception of the Whitman team. And in 2017, here were my goals. All I knew was that I was like, you know, it's my first year as a team, my personal income, I would like to make $100,000. But I had a five-year goal, and it was in five years, I wanted to be selling $33 million a year as a team. And if you're wondering why $33 million, it's because when you sell $33 million, you've earned a million dollars in commissions. And that's really what I was wrapping my head around. I wanna make a million dollars as a team five years from now, this is 2017. At the end of 2017, what we ended up making was about $450,000 as a team. But you have to keep in mind, you know, the company gets their cut, I had agents, I had an assistant. And so by the time everything was split up, I did not meet my $100,000 goal. It was very challenging. At the end of 2017 was when I first started making my own homemade videos. I was literally just turning around the camera, I was doing a little bit of Facebook Live, and then I would just record myself. And one of those videos was me getting everybody up to date that I had just started a team and that I had lost all this weight and I sent it out to my entire database. And so begins 2018. 2018 was the year that I started busting out a lot of video content. Whitman Wisdom was born and we were making a lot of episodes and we were having a lot of fun. I learned a lot along the way, but we did four seasons in that first year. I mean, we were busy behind the camera. My business started to really grow exponentially. By the end of the year, I still had the same four people on my team. It was still just Josh, Ashley, and Myrna and me. And we had brought in $1.6 million in commissions. Now you have to remember, my five-year goal was to do a million dollars in a year. And in the second year, we did $1.6 million, which meant that by the time everything was split up, I had made more money than I was ever dreaming about making. And it was life-changing. It was so exciting. And another big thing happened at the end of 2018, which is that I got a phone call based off of all the videos that I had created on Instagram of a TV show that wanted to meet with me about potentially becoming their next cast member. That phone call came on Halloween of 2018, and it was a few days before I was leaving for Christmas break that I got the call that I was gonna be the new cast member of Million Dollar Listing. So let's talk about 2019. As one might imagine, going into 2019, learning I had just been cast in one of the biggest reality TV shows in real estate history, I was on top of the world. I felt unstoppable, my team was new, but the market sucked. You couldn't sell an apartment to save your life in 2019. It was the hardest market I had ever experienced. I had listings and I had buyers and I had nobody making decisions. Nobody was pulling the triggers. And all of a sudden, everything started to cave in on me. And I was like, wait a second. I was like, I'm about to be on TV. And I'm building this business and I'm not even keeping up with what I was making in 2018. It's like I've taken a couple of steps back. Yes, I found out I was on this TV show, but I had signed all sorts of paperwork and was not allowed to talk about it. And then all of a sudden, something changed. We just realized we had to start working really hard. I added two more team members to my team. In the second half of the year, we crushed it. 
We didn't end up hitting our goal, but we did $2.6 million by the end of 2019. And it was funny, because remember my five-year goal? $33 million and a million bucks? Year three, I did $2.6 million, two and a half times my five-year goal in the third year. And I remember feeling like such a failure. I remember feeling like I didn't hit my goals, I didn't do good enough, I could have done more, and I was just busy comparing myself to people who had sold more than me, because that's like the human way. We're constantly comparing ourselves to people who are ahead of us, and that is such a trap that humans fall into. You have to stop and celebrate your own success regardless of what people around you are doing. There will always be somebody who is doing more than you, who is doing better than you, and all you need to do is use them as inspiration for what you are capable of, and that is the energy we took into 2020. 2020, it was the fourth year of being on the Whitman team. Things were amazing. We had just finished up being on TV for the first time and we were signing huge exclusives. We were working with epic buyers and it was just sale after sale after sale. And it was so exciting. And then in the middle of March, the world came crashing down. Coronavirus hit and while every real estate market outside of New York City absolutely exploded, New York City crumbled. We were completely put on pause. From March 15th to June 22nd, none of us were allowed to even show properties, let alone transact. I had clients who lost loved ones. I had clients who had lost their jobs. I had clients who were taking like multi-million dollar hits on their investments because they wanted to flee this city. There was a mass exodus from here like you have never seen before and my brain is going a million miles an hour. Will the city ever recover? Will my business ever come back? Will people ever transact in the city where my career is just starting to explode? And it consumed me. I was completely paralyzed and I did not take any action. And I really fell into a pretty dark space. It was around the end of May that my team finally started to snap out of it and realize that our clients need us now more than ever. And when the markets reopened on June 22nd, we went straight to work. It was some of the most difficult selling we've ever done. It was a market that nobody's ever experienced before, but we hustled and we worked our ass off. And not only did we hit our goals, we set a record and sold more real estate than we've ever sold before. If you remember, my original five-year goal was to sell $33 million and make a million bucks. We did more than that per quarter in 2020. As a matter of fact, we did more than that in September. We exceeded our goals by numbers that you would never imagine. And it sucks sometimes, and it was awesome sometimes. And that is what it's like to grow a multi-million dollar business. It's not always going to be awesome, but I do have video marketing to thank for it. Can I tell you how much money I made from each individual video? Absolutely not. But I do know that I've almost 5X'd my five-year goal in the fourth year. And so now it's 2021. Right, we're filming this, we just finished our business planning, we've outlined everything that we wanna do for the year, and our goals are insane. As a matter of fact, the goal is to do $6 million in commissions, and I think we're gonna blow it out of the water. I wanna specifically note that I told you when Million Dollar Listing came into the picture in this video, because something that I constantly hear agents saying is, oh, that's easy for you to say, you're on TV. Of course it's easy for you to get those listings now. Of course your business is exploding now. Make no mistake, I do not take risks and grow my business because I'm on TV. I am on TV because I was growing my business and I was taking risks. And I don't say that to sound cocky. I say that because there's this thing in human nature that we tell ourselves these stories of it's not gonna happen for me. It only happened to that person because of X. And as soon as you stop doing that, the faster you're gonna get to your goals. Get to work.